Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project Agribus. So first let us extract the zipped file. You can see that the folder is extracting and you can see the Agribus one module project folder is created. In the folder Agribus you can find all the PHP codes which is required to execute the program. In database backup you can see the database file which is an SQL file. Now let us copy this Agribus folder and let's paste in local disk C in XAMPP under HDDocs folder. In HDDocs folder paste it here. This is because I have installed XAMPP control panel in C drive wherever you have installed paste there in XAMPP under HDDocs. Now you can see the PHP files are here. Now rename or click on rename and copy the name of the folder. Now let's start the XAMPP control panel and click on Apache and MySQL server to start. You can see the Apache and MySQL server is running. Now let us open the browser and let's type localhost slash paste the name of the folder Agribus. This is how we will execute the project. You can see the error that is failed to connect to MySQL that is because the database is not imported. To import the database type localhost php myadmin. So this is the MySQL server. On clicking on databases create the database. The database name should be same as the database backup folder what you have. Create the database. Uh, once the database is created click on import. Click on choose file and choose the file what you have in database backup folder in Agribus one module project. Select the SQL file and click on go. So this might take some time. So once the database is uploaded and it is imported, you can find all the records and all the tables of that particular database and clicking on refresh you can see now the project is executing and this is the agribus project which helps the agricultural uh, selling so here the farmers can sell their products and the customers can buy these products this provides a wider market for the farmers here the admin will monitor all the activities of the customers as well as the farmers Now let us log in as a staff that is admin. So click on login. The admin must log in using admin login ID and password. Here the default admin login ID and password is admin itself. So once the admin logs in, the admin dashboard is available. Here all the number of records of the project which is there in the database can be viewed here. Under settings in change my password, the admin can make changes to their password. And under add state here, the admin can add the states. That is, these states are added because the customers as well as the farmers from these various states can sell their producers here. Once the state is added, it can be viewed under view state. Here the admin also has the action edit and delete. Under add city, here the city must be added by selecting the particular state. Once the state is selected, the city of that particular state must be added. So this helps the farmers as well as the customers to view the products of partic particular cities. So once the city is added, even this can be viewed under view city. So here the admin has the action edit and delete here where the admin can make changes to city details as well as he can delete it. Under farmer settings here in add produce category, here the different categories of producers that is the products can be added. It can be vegetables, fruits, it can be seeds. And the image of that particular category must be added. 
then under description you can write a brief description about uh, what is that category is exactly about and what are the things that come under that particular category that must be mentioned so once the category is added even this can be viewed under view category so view produce category here the different categories that are added can be viewed by the admin under add produce type so here by selecting the category the different types of produces can be added so the different types of produces it can be now under dry fruits it can be nuts under vegetables it can be green vegetables so once the produce name is added the image must be selected and description about the produce must be mentioned the produce types can be viewed under view types so here the admin also has the action edit and delete where admin can make any changes to the added types under report in customer report the various customers registered to the website can be viewed and under farmer report the farmers registered to the website can be viewed along with their all the personal details so now let us log out from admin so now let us see about the farmer account the existing farmer must log in using the existing farmer and the new farmers can register using new user panel here the for registration the farmer must mention his name the email id then the password and confirm password must be mentioned the address state city pin code and contact number bank name the bank, branch name of the bank ifsc code and the bank account number must be mentioned and on clicking on click here to register the farmer account will be registered successfully the farmers can log in using the login id and password that is the login id will be a email address once the farmer logs in the dashboard is available where he can find all his details in my profile under update profile the farmer can make changes to their personal details and under change password they can change their password under produce put your produce on sale so here the farmer can upload his produce for sale to upload the produce for sale he must select the category of that produce and what is the produce comes under which type so that must be selected and then the title in title he can give the name of this pro name of his produce so the farmer must upload the image of the producer so he must upload two images the quantity that is what is the quantity is available for sale and what is the type of quality whether it is kilogram or gram and in description he can give the description about his produce and this description will attract the customers and the customers will get the details about the produce here so on clicking on submit the produce it produce will be added and he can view it under view the produce and here he has the action edit and delete where he can edit the produce details and under farmers market here he can he, the farmer as well as the customers can view the producers which they have put on the sale and the customers can purchase it so let's log out so let us see about the customer the existing customer can sign in using the existing user panel the new customer must register to register he must mention the name of the customer the email id of the customer the password and confirm password must be mentioned the address state city the contact number pin code and mobile number customer type must be selected which can be either wholesaler retailer or consumer so once the customer is registered they can log in using the login id that will be a email address as well as the password so once the customer logs in so he can view the customer dashboard which includes his personal details and under update he can make changes to his profile details 
under change password here the customer can make changes to their password under farmers market here the customer can view the various producers from the different farmers on clicking on view more on each of the product he can view the detail of that product the name of the product the type the category and the person who has the put it for the sale and what is the quantity available and the customer can send the purchase request by mentioning the quantity he would like to purchase and along with that he can also add some note so the note can include what is the quantity he needs as well as what type of pro produce he need as well as the customer whether he needs it earlier or late so once the purchase request is sent it can be viewed under view purchase request by the customer and you can see now the status is pending if the customer doesn't want to buy the product he can delete it now let us log out from the customer and let us log in as a farmer this is because the customer has wished to purchase the product and this request has been sent to that particular farmer and now the farmer must log in and he must confirm the order that is whether he want to sell it or not under view purchase request here the farmer can view the here the farmer can view the request from different customers and you can see the status is pending and the action is send purchase order or delete either the customer either the farmer can delete it or he can give the price that is what is the price he he is wishing to sell it for and then the request will be sent for the customer as an order of purchase so under view purchase order here we can view the purchase order which is sent by the farmer to the customer but the status is pending because the customer has not done the payment yet so let us log out as farmer and let's log in as the customer and let us view in customers panel how the how it is available for the customer so we can see in the customers panel under view farm producer purchase order where the amount the customer can view and the status is pending and action is make payment once the if the customer wishes to buy he can make the payment so the payment type the card holder's name card number expiry date that is expiry date of the card and the cvv number of the card must be mentioned the payment cannot be changed because it is made by the farmer itself once the payment is done the bill is available which includes the customers as well as the seller's address along with some bill number and the details of the bill also can be viewed and the payment type as well as the account details that is to which account the payment is done can be viewed now let us log out and let us log in as a farmer that is because the farmer can view it now the whether the payment is done or not once the farmer views the payment that is once the farmer gets the payment then he will deliver his produce to that particular customer so in farmer and purchase billing report so here we can see the payment is made and under action you can see print in which the farmer also can view the bill so let's log out from farmer so this is about how the customer and farmer will sell and by the products so now let us log in as admin so in admin under report under farmers produce report here we can see the different producers added by various farmers and under produce purchase request here all the request made by different customers to the farmers can be viewed by the admin under produce billing report the producers purchased by various various customers can be viewed here and so all the details whatever happens in the website that is monitored by the admin here so this is about the project agribus thank you for watching the video 
For further queries, kindly visit our website. Thank you.